Hello guys and welcome back to our Lamborghini Huracan car modeling tutorial. Now, this episode is going to be a little bit different. And uh, now before I explain that, we've got a few things to go over. First things first is in between episodes I added the windscreen here and the glass inside. Now I did that just by extruding down and meeting in the middle there and I added a little bit more trim along the bottom of the bonnet section here. Now I did that just by using the same techniques as we have in the past. Now two things we need to do before we crack on is firstly we need to address a little change to our rear section here and we also need to add one or two more lines down this edge here just to give a bit more curvature before we start extracting the panels. Now once we've done that I'm going to go through extracting the diffuser um, and then I'm going to speed it up whilst I just, um, extract all of the different panels on the car before we start to add some details hopefully in the next episode. So first things first, I noticed afterwards that um, on here there's not quite as much depth as there is on the actual car itself. And the reason for that is because this section here is a bit too flat. So we don't need to add anything else in. What we need to do is uh, just pull a few of the points that we created. So these ones here, for example, we need to pull up just like that. We're going to pull that point up just a little bit just to maintain that angle there, but obviously we want to keep that one uh, in the same place. And we just want to do that to all of these points here. So all of these points we want to uh, pull up maybe as well as these sections here. Let's see how that looks. Just there, yeah, that's looking good. Again, pull these ones up as well. I think we might have grabbed, yeah, grabbed one we should have there. Good. So we're just pulling these points up just to get that depth that is in the actual vehicle itself. There we go. That's better. Good. Oh, that's much better. So it's got far more of a 3D element to it. Um, got the glass in there already. Um, what I did as well in between episodes was I actually merged the two sections together. So everybody has just the same as we have in the past. I um, combined the two elements and then merged all of the vertices that ran down the door and along the top as well. So that's going to allow me here to use my mesh tools to insert an edge loop. And we're going to drop one straight down the middle here. And Jumping into our views on the side. What we're actually going to do with the whole thing selected here, apart from these, the last point there, is we're just going to pull it up, just like that. And then what we can do is we can have this vertices meet it in the middle there. Just so it's not a completely flat surface, you never want to have a completely flat surface, especially on a car like this where there's um, so much going on for it. And we do need to make sure that we're maintaining the curve here. So we'll go back in and just pull these points as well. We'll make sure that that still reflects the same going down here as well. Okay, and then the real reason that we actually wanted this line inside here was so that we could curve this section a little bit more. Okay, it's looking good to me. 
what we'll do is let's just make sure that there's no real angles here. Okay, so the most for the most part there, I think the mesh is looking pretty good, going all the way down. So what we're going to do is we are going to extract the diffuser together, and then I'm going to go around and extract all of the different creases in the car. I'm going to speed that up, and then in the next episode we'll talk about adding all of the smaller details to the individual sections. So in order to do this, it's pretty simple. Now, especially on the diffuser here, it's quite simple because we do need to add the details in each of these sections. What we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to add an, um, an edge loop in between. Now it's always important to make sure that the mesh is absolutely on point before you do this between the two sections um, because you want it to maintain that relative distance between uh, the two. So what we're wanting to do here is we're going to want to add an edge loop inside this section here. So jumping in to our side view it's going to allow us to see where our edge loop should be. So we know that our diffuser here, again, we've got all the details inside here to add, but we know that our diffuser breaks away here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on, on our mesh tools here, insert an edge loop, and again, like I said, we just want to make sure that this mesh is on point first. So we're just going to drag all these to where they should be. Just to make sure that curvature is looking good there. So mesh tools, insert edge loop, and we're going to drop an edge loop in there. We want to keep it fairly close, but not too close. We want to be able to see the gap in between. We're then going to select the faces. I'm going to select all the faces that we essentially just created, and we are going to hit delete. So if all we have inside there now is an actual gap. So there's nothing holding these two parts together. So that means that we can add all of our details inside here, trying to maintain and reflect the geometry in all the other sections, but it's going to allow us to do it on a piece by piece basis, which should make it all fall into place a little bit easier. After we do that, do that, we can select the options and we can edit that mesh and we can extract. And that's going to extract any face that isn't joined. So we can see that the rest of the body is fine here. But now what we have is an independent rear diffusion sensor section here. So then we can add all of our details here. We can then mirror the mesh across here. Um, merge it down the middle and then smooth it off when we're good to go. So I'm going to go through the rest here making sure that I've got all of the correct um, sections extracted and then in the next episode we'll look at adding all the details to those as well. Thank you.